This experience being in Brooklyn's been awesome. You know, I think similar to uh, what Brett said, it's it's pretty tough being at home and not really having any baseball. You know, having friends and uh, teammates that are here, it's you know definitely tough. But you know, you understand everything that goes along with the decision of. Um, bringing a young prospect up here, but just being here and the atmosphere and with the environment with the older guys and with the veterans, being able to pick their brains, being able to, um, you know, also go into the game and work on things. It's a little different here because since there's really no, really no winner, um, you can work on other things other than competing. You know, you can work on specific pitches, you can work on uh, your delivery, you know, whatever it is. The great part about baseball and, and something like this is that you can come back the next day and you can keep working on it, that it's not going to really affect your so-called stats like it would in a regular season. And so I think all that together tied up with just the experience and the knowledge of the older guys, uh, you know, I think it's really made for an awesome experience. Definitely in development of my changeup. That's going to be a constant throughout my career. But I think that's something that I hammered a lot here, and it really uh, took leaps forward. Uh, aside from that, um, kept trying to refine my mechanics. You know, like I said, when you're at home for so long, you're throwing, and and without uh, analytics and, and video and stuff like that, it's easy to get into some bad habits. And so coming here, kind of getting back into the swing of things. Um, you know, it really allowed me to, to hammer on those, uh, you know, habits and allowed me to hammer on the things I was doing really well at in spring training and take that and do it here. And on the flip side, maybe the things I really wanted to work on in spring training and tried to work on it while I was at home and then continue to work on it here. Porcello was here for a little bit. Uh, DeGrom was here for a little bit. Uh, Batances was here. Uh, Paul Seawald. Daniel Zamora, I mean, really everybody was so friendly and, and really, um, you know, really took me under and answered any questions that I had and went out of the way to, um, went out of the way to really just communicate with me and allow me to feel, um, you know, normal, like I wasn't just the young kid on the block. Um, and so they, all of them had such great advice and, um, you know, I think similar to what Brett said, it was just about being a professional and how to take care of your business and, uh, you know, go about your work. and. I for sure matured a lot since being here. I was at home in Sanford, Florida. Uh, I was working out five days a week. I was usually doing something baseball six, at least six days a week, if not seven days a week. Um, and so I was working out at a place called Top Level Athletes and a place called Marucci Clubhouse. I was lifting at Marucci Clubhouse and doing my uh, throwing and pitching at uh, Top Level Athletes. and. Um, you know, I think the great part about being at home is that you have to be accountable for yourself. Um, you know, at the end of the day, this is your career, and, and you got to know how to about. You need to know how to go about your business on your own and know what's good for you. And so, I think for me, being at home and having to be uh, accountable for what I was doing, and not have anybody, you know, looking over my shoulder the whole time saying, "You got to do this. You got to wake up and do this." You know, I think that really helped. Come, when I was coming here and got here, really helped me solidify my routine early on. I was, so I threw at Stetson, my last couple like live ABs and, and uh, bullpens, I threw to Patrick Mazika, one of the catchers here. Um, I threw it at Stetson, so I was actually fortunate enough that DeGrom was there as well, and that's where he was throwing his bullpens. Um, I learned a lot from Logan Gilbert. Um, he's with the uh, Seattle Mariners, and you know him and I would play catch couple times a week and you know I'd pick his brain he'd pick my brain I think again just using all your resources I think that was huge and and um, you know coming here and solidifying my routine I think for me the biggest thing that I saw was just how he went about his business um, you know he shows up early um, leaves late and uh, you know throwing bullpens at, at Stetson it was just awesome to see how much intent he uh, put into his uh, bullpens and what he was trying to work on and just all of that together was just I think it really shows why he's a Cy Young you know he doesn't really take days off and in his bullpen you can tell he's working on something he's not just going out there to throw to throw he's he's working on hitting his spots and you can hear him and you can hear him when he's talking and you know criticizing himself about like you know come on let's get it there you know things like that I think that really you know just embodies why he's a Cy Young takes every day serious. You know, I think 
all I can do is, is just trust the coaches. And, you know, they've been so good with communication. They've been so good with reaching out and, and doing the best that they can, giving us information. Um, and so they, they've just been so helpful that it's really just trusting coaching staff, trusting uh, Ricky, who's the pitching coordinator, and, you know, what he wants me doing. And, you know, it is a little tough, especially like back at home. You don't really know when you're going to get the call. It's just kind of on uh, it's, you're kind of on hold the whole time, and it could happen in an instant. But, uh, you know, I think for me it was just, like I said, being accountable and, and always being ready. And that's something I want to take into when I go home is just always being ready so that when I show up to Instructs, it's not like I took the week 10 days off. You know, I kind of picked up where I left off and, and kept going and then show up to instructs and have the same attitude. Just keep solidifying my routine and kind of keep going.